Hello friends, it's time for another two week grocery haul and we had a ton of stops and errands to do today. So I'm tired, so I'm not gonna chat much. I'm just gonna get right into it and show you what we picked up from Kroger. This is everything we picked up from Kroger. I had quite a few coupons today, so that's why I have these. These are delicious, they're lower in sugar and there's no dairy and I had a coupon for them. I can't remember how much off, but I got some of those. Olivia and I both really love those. I got some of my unsweetened um, almond milk. Got one pound of Bob Evans pork sausage. Again, they had the chicken strips from Kroger, the Kroger brand. Uh, last time I bought these two weeks ago, they were $5.99 a bag. Today I paid $6.99 a bag. Um, pretty soon I'm not gonna be able to afford the Kroger brand either and we're just not gonna have chicken strips anymore and we got some french fries this is for our supper tonight I got another one of my ripple half and half I had a coupon for that as well uh, I got some of my plant-based cheddar cheese this, we had quite a bit of, of cheese in the freezer so that's the only cheese I bought this time for Olivia and I I got one of our spaghetti sauces for our long-term storage Got some more coffee for the guys. I get this every time I go shopping just to make sure they have it because they're big coffee drinkers. Got another thing of the prunes that we like. Went with this Kroger brand. It's the cheapest that I could find. These are the kimchi fried noodle dishes that Olivia really loves and it's very hit or miss whether they have them or not. Uh, they obviously had them this time, so I got four of those. I got uh, a thing of Mountain Dew for Travis's um, lunches. Uh, I got two things of lentils. This is for my long-term food storage. I got some more of those Greek yogurts that I really like, two of the vanilla, two strawberry. Uh, I got four cans of chicken broth. Got some of this all fruit spread. This is also for our long-term storage. I got a strawberry and raspberry. Two cans of beefy mushroom soup. I stocked up on frosting and cake mixes. Um, those are some things I noticed in my long-term storage that we didn't hardly have any. So I got a vanilla and three different kinds of cho chocolate frostings. And then the cake mixes that I got was uh, Devil's Food, Classic Yellow, Chocolate Fudge, and a white. So we have something for everyone. I got a thing of pizza sauce. I got two of the vegan mac and cheese. This is for Olivia and I. We sometimes make those for lunches or a side dish. I really like these beef stew packets, the seasoning mix. So I got four of those. I got a salad dressing again. I had a coupon for that as well. Had a coupon for a free thing of Miracle Whip, so of course I picked that up. And then I got two more of these Krusty's mixes that we really like, the honey cornbread and the almond poppy seed. All right, I'll get this stuff put away and show you what we picked up from Aldi. All right, so this is everything I picked up from Aldi. It's quite a bit less than I did last time, but you know, that's okay. Uh, that's kind of like my goal is to keep spending less every time I go to town. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I got one pack of these flour tortillas. Um, I'm sure Travis will have these with our supper tonight, our dinner, uh, the chicken strips. He loves to make wraps out of those. I got four bags of the Everything Bagels for Travis. They had the artisanal white bread again this time. Last time they were, didn't have any or they I took their last loaf put it that way. So I got two loaves of that and then I got one loaf of this 12 grain for Scott and I. We still do have some bread in the refrigerator so that's why I didn't buy as much. I got two boxes of these uh, meat sticks for Scott. He likes to take those in his lunch box. I got some of these chocolate chip energy bars for Olivia to eat as a breakfast alternative. She's not a big breakfast eater. I picked up some more of the organic coconut oil. I just used the last of my jar this morning, so glad to have that back. 
I opened up a can of the baked beans out of our long-term storage last night, so I picked up a can to replace that. Uh, back here I've got some of our tortilla chips that we like to get. Um, I picked up another bag of trail mix. This time I wanted to try the tropical. It's got dried bananas and apricots and things in it. I got a thing of yellow potatoes. Um, over the weekend, we used a couple cans of chicken out of our long-term storage, so I bought two cans to replace what we used, plus two cans to keep building our stock. The last time I went shopping, they did not have the fat-free refried beans. They did this time, so I got three cans. I prefer the fat-free kind. I picked up some rice. I got a lot of rice in my long-term storage, but they're either... Um, vacuum sealed or in mylar bags and I don't want to open those up those are for for extended long term so I got some white basmati rice and some brown basmati rice to just use right away uh, I picked up a thing of sweet baby rays barbecue sauce I used up the last that we had yesterday picked up another thing of ketchup this is to go in our long term storage we got some peanuts, this is also for our long-term storage, as well as this tomato uh, pasta sauce, this is for long-term storage. Uh, we used up the last of our baby, baby kosher dills, so I got a jar of those. I was also wanting to get some of the little sweet pickles, but they didn't have any of those. They had strawberries for a fairly decent price, $1.99 package so I got two of those. I got a thing of vanilla extract. Now I do make my own homemade vanilla extract but it is not ready to use yet. It's still curing or whatever the term is and I needed more vanilla so I picked that up. I got two things of zucchini. I really love to use zucchini. Um, I, I make rice and if there's any leftover rice I will take a zucchini and dice it up and take the, the rice saute it with salt and pepper and I don't know any other vegetables that I might have and then when it's just about done I will uh, scramble up an egg and cook in and make fried rice it makes an excellent breakfast or lunch so I picked up some zucchini for that reason I got the guys some uh, cheese slices for sandwiches as well as some Parmesan cheese they la use the last of theirs last time we had spaghetti picked up some strawberry Greek yogurt for the dogs for their probiotic uh, I got I just got one coffee creamer this time because um, the one I wanted from Kroger they didn't have and the guys already have two downstairs already in the refrigerator so they didn't need they didn't need a bunch so I just got one this time and I got the caramel I got Travis some of his um, lactose free milk he seems to be doing good with that I picked up two bags of radishes two heads of lettuce some bananas that are fairly green but should be ready in a couple of days and I picked up two cantaloupes I really really been wanting watermelon but I am not willing to pay the price that they are asking and so right now the cantaloupe are a bit cheaper and so I just have been making do with that. It's not the same as watermelon, but it's it's good. I like cantaloupe too. I picked up some of these because I just wanted to give them a try. Cosmic crisp apples. There's only four apples in the bag. So we should be able to eat those up without them getting yucky. Picked up some green grapes. Not green. <laughs> Can you tell it's been a long day? Red grapes. Picked up some red seedless grapes and then some of my gourmet tomatoes that I really like. And I noticed they have these green ones in there. I don't know what that's all about. I don't think that's, I don't think those are ripe. I don't know. But that's, that's, they were in every single container. They had those green ones. So we will see. I don't know of any variety of tomato that is ripe when it's green. So. I don't know. I picked up some more canned goods to uh, add to our long-term storage. I got six cans of green beans. I got three of the regular and three of the French style. And then I got six cans of 
potatoes. Now, um, four of these cans of green beans are just going to go in my pantry upstairs. The other two are going to go down in my long term. I got four dozen eggs. The price of eggs keep going up and up and up. I can't afford the organic ones anymore. So I get these free range. These are $2 and something a dozen. Uh, the organic ones are over $4 a dozen. So you gotta, you gotta make, you gotta make exceptions. Like I used to not buy anything that wasn't organic as far as like apples and grapes and strawberries. I can't afford the organic right now. So I figure it's better to have the fresh produce, even if it's not organic, than to not have it at all. So anyway, four dozen eggs. I got some of these chicken fries. Olivia will use these with that kimchi noodles that she got from Kroger. She likes to heat these up and dice them up and add them to the noodles so she has more protein and it makes gets her full faster and keeps her full longer. I got two of these rising crust pizzas for Travis for his lunches on the weekends. Uh, I picked up a thing of turkey burgers because I have a feeling as summer progresses, they will be harder and harder to find and we love burgers on the grill. And same with the beef burgers. I bought a package of these two weeks ago. We haven't used them. They're just down in the freezer for summertime burger grilling. I'm thinking ahead as far as that goes. Uh, I got a package of the ham. They were slim pickings on their lunch meat again, but they did have the ham. So I picked that up. Uh, I got some paper towels and some sandwich bags. The guys use these a lot for their lunch boxes. And I think I talked about the potatoes already. Um, you will notice I did not get any paper plates this time. Um, I will show you, I'm getting, I'm getting away from buying paper plates right now, except for if we get to go camping, which is still up in the air. We may not even get to go this year. Um, but paper products are ridiculous and I just couldn't, couldn't see spending all that money on paper plates anymore. So I'll show you what we're doing instead. I got these lightweight um, plastic plates. I got them off of Amazon. There were 12 of them, I think for less than $20, 19 something I think. They're dishwasher and microwave safe as long as you uh, don't exceed three minutes in the microwave. And you that's all you would use these for is to reheat leftovers or whatever, and it shouldn't take more than three minutes. But anyway, that's what we're doing. We can wash these and reuse them. They're lightweight and um, they won't break. So that's what we're doing instead of paper plates now. And you, if, even if the world gets back to quote unquote normal and prices come back down eventually, I may just stick with these and just stop buying paper plates, even if they are become more affordable. All right, that's everything I picked up from Aldi. Get this stuff put away and I'll show you what I picked up from all the other stops we had to make today. So like I said, we had a bunch of stops to make today. In fact, there was one stop we decided didn't have to happen today and we were putting it off for another time because we were just so busy. So many things. I had an appointment that I needed to make sure that I got to on time. So we had to do all of these things except for one stop before my appointment and then we did the last stop after my appointment. But um, one of the places we went was a tractor supply where we get all of our feed and we needed to get some dog food from, for our outside dogs. They did not have any of the brand that we normally get them and the only kind they had was extremely expensive, like 50 plus dollars for a 50 pound bag or the cheapest we saw was $32 for a bag of dog food. So one of the employees very nicely said, did you try Walmart? <laughs> well, you know my, how I feel about Walmart, but we needed to go to Walmart anyway so I could pick up a prescription. And so while we were in there, we did get a bag of dog food still out in the car because it's for the outside dogs and it's a 50 pound bag. So Travis will take care of that when he gets home. And then while we were in there, we did pick up a couple of other things that we needed. And then we went over to Ollie's, which you saw in my day in the life or my week in the life vlog that we had gone there um, the day it opened. 
and so Olivia and I went back and spent more time looking at the books because Scott was with us before and he was in a hurry and you know trying to get a guy to look at something he's not interested in is not not easy <laughs> so anyway we went to Ollie's and we went to a couple other places so let me turn this camera around and show you what I picked up from Walmart and Ollie's Olivia had gotten a water bottle like this uh, oh, I don't know a month or so ago she's been using it very diligently and the last time that Scott went to pick up some bottled water some cases of bottled water we don't drink a lot of bottled water. He drinks, Scott drinks it mostly at work, but the, when we, he went to get it, he didn't see the price, so he just got what he normally got. He got two, I think, 36 case cases to drink here at home, and then a smaller case of like 24 or something for him to take to work, and it rang up at $15 for water. So we're not gonna be buying bottled water anymore. He's gonna take this bottle and refill it at work. So that's what we got for him. Olivia needed some more uh, buttons for eyes and some more of this uh, wire because she's still making those pixie dolls, which are turning out super cute. Uh, while she was, uh, she picked up some makeup, I won't show you that, but while she was in the makeup aisle, I looked in the candle aisle and I got some of this because I absolutely love sandalwood. And I will put this in our bathroom and we will use it for air freshener in the bathroom. So pick that up. And then Olivia said, hey, while we're here, can I get one of those lunch on the go chicken salad kits for my lunch today? And I said, sure. And I said, go ahead and pick up a couple extra. So she will have month, uh, a month's worth of lunches when we go grocery shopping. So she won't have to pack anything she can just grab one of these and eat in the car okay so that's everything besides the dog food that I picked up from Walmart and this is what I picked up from Ollie's Olivia's birthday is this weekend and she I said oh go ahead and get this um, as a birthday gift although I already got her gifts but <laughs> she asked if she could have it and I said sure it'll be one of your birthday gifts it was $5.99 she wanted to learn how to play the harmonica. She's a very musical child. Well, she's not a child, young lady. So, got that for her. I love to do word search puzzles. I don't like to do crossword puzzles. I hate Sudoku puzzles, <laughs> hate them. But I love word search puzzles. So I picked this up, it's a nice big one, and it was $2.49. Travis needed some more deodorant, and so while we were in there, we got him this Dove Mins for $2.99 and the degree for $2.29. So I got him two things of deodorant. I picked up a few things for gifts. Another one of these uh, spiral bound notebooks. This says, you are the light of the world, Matthew 514. And it's just a lined paper binder. And it was $2.99. It's gonna be a gift. And then I picked up two more of these uh, fear not um, little devotionals I, th I think we all need something like this prayers and promises for difficult times because we are certainly living in difficult times and they were $1.99 a piece and then I picked up this um, I love doing adult coloring books and they had a ton of them but this is the one I liked the best and this cost came in a plastic thing that I took off. It was $1.99. And then the last time we were in there, Olivia saw this Charlotte's Web. And we have Charlotte's Web, but it's in very bad condition. It was the book I had when I was a child. So it's been around for a long time, been well loved. And so we picked this up because we needed a new copy and it was $2.99. We picked up a squeaky toy for uh, Oliver. $3.99. We would get stuff for Sally, but she just gets so possessive and rude whenever she gets toys. So we don't bother to get her anything. And she's a dog. I don't think she really cares. <laughs> but we got this for Oliver. Oh, Oliver, the new toy. Well, he's got to sniff it first. <laughs> oh, yeah. There he goes. Oh, Sally. I'm sorry, Sally. 
Maybe we should get her a cookie. Maybe. Get her a cookie. Is that your donut? Oh, this is the aftermath of grocery shopping. Get her a cookie. Not sure what to think of it. It's kind of big for his mouth. Um, I picked up some more of these cutting mats. I had gotten the larger sized ones the last time we went to Ollie's, and I really liked them. And I was thinking, man, I wish I had some that were a bit smaller, just for really quick jobs. And they had this set of four for $4.99. So I picked that up. Um, Olivia was wearing some cheap dollar store flip-flops into town today and they were hurting her feet and they were making a weird squeaky sound and she needed some new sandals for church and for shopping and whatnot. So we picked these up and the reason it's on a plastic bag is because she put them on in the car and she walked all over town in these and they were $4.99 which is pretty good price for um, a pair of sandals. We saw something equivalent to it at Walmart for like 20 bucks, so that was a good deal. And then they do have some food items, which I was thought was pretty cool. They had this um, everything but the bagel seasoning for $3.79, big jar of that. They had this huge thing of banana chips for $2.99, and this really even bigger bag of dried cranberries for $5.39. I was going to get some dried cranberries at Aldi and then I saw these and I thought, oh yeah, that's a much better deal. Uh, I talked before how Olivia loves Arnold Palmer, Arnold, that's so hard to say, Arnold Palmer's, which is half uh, lemonade and half iced tea. So she saw these. I don't know if they are, I don't think they're actually that flavor. Well, original, that might be. But then it's got strawberry, mango, and peach. Little fruit snacks for 99 cents. I said, yeah, we could try them. Maybe they have some in there that taste like Arnold Palmer's. Then they had this. I just thought it looked delicious. Cherry preserves. This big old jar for $2.89. And then they had dark chocolate covered uh, blueberries. They had something similar to this at Aldi, but this was cheaper, $2.99, so I got two bags of those, and there's no milk in them. So my sister and Olivia and I went over to the garden center yesterday to try to get the rest of the plants that we want to plant in the, in the garden, and they had everything we wanted except for cucumber, um, zucchini, and butternut squash. So. Becky said, my sister said, why don't you check Lowe's when you're in town tomorrow? So I checked Lowe's. They did not. They didn't have anything I wanted, but they did have yellow squash. So I think instead of zucchini, we are going to have yellow squash this year. And I did start some seeds last night. Um, Becky had some zucchini seeds and some cucumber seeds, and I got those started. It's kind of late in the game, so we'll see what happens with those. But we may not have zucchini or cucumber this year, or butternut squash, they didn't have any of that. And Becky didn't have any butternut squash seeds. So I picked up two little pots of yellow squash. I think there's two plants in each pot. Well, it looks like maybe even more than that. So we'll, if these survive, we'll have plenty of squash. And then the, one of the last stops we made, the one where I had an appointment, was at JMD Lifestyles, which is a health food store. Now, I've talked about them before, and they went out of business for a while simply because she could not find, her lease ran out at the building she was at. It was a long, complicated story. She couldn't find another building by the time she had to be out, so she just closed the store. Well, in the meantime, she found another building and so she's opened back up she's running this, the store a little bit differently this time um, you can still walk in and just purchase whatever you want but she's also doing a concierge service uh, she is a doctor of naturopath and she is a nutritionist and so I went in to talk to her about uh, switching my health care from regular medical doctors to a naturopath doctor um, I had some drama with my doctor. Um, I've been incredibly displeased with 
his office over the last several years and it's just come to a head and so I no longer have long story short I no longer have a primary care physician so I'm looking into instead of trying to find another primary care physician just going the naturopath route um, I kind of more believe in natural healing and supplements than I do modern medicine anyway so anyway I went in to talk to her about that still haven't made my decision yet um, she said there's no hurry um, I can decide it's kind of an investment and insurance doesn't pay for it so I have to think about it but anyway while we were in the store I picked up a couple of things not much because I was in a hurry and Olivia picked up a little bit so I'll show you what we picked up at JMD lifestyles I just picked up two things. They had these nuts. They were on sale 50% off, so half of $5.49 for this. And this is a mocha flavored dark chocolate espresso, almonds, cashews, and pecans. Sounded delicious. And then this was a smaller pack, half of $2.49, so basically $1.25. And this is original, savory with a sweet touch, almonds, peca cashews, pecans. And that's all I picked up today. Like I said, I was in a hurry and I didn't really have a whole lot of time to browse around. While I was in the meeting with um, Joyce, her name is Joyce, Olivia did browse around a bit in the store. She picked up some of these little honey sticks. Uh, she told me what flavors are what, and I can't remember. I think this one is lemon, and I can't remember what this one is. But a couple of little honey sticks, and then some of this um, sample soaps. They were two for a dollar. She got, oh, that dog is barking. Uh, cherry almond and lilac. All right, friends, that's it for my two-week grocery haul in the middle of May. It's not even the middle of May. It's technically the beginning of May still. Hot today. Oh, my goodness, the weather has turned. It's over 80 degrees, and it's going to be this way for the next few days, which doesn't seem horribly hot, but when you go from 50 degrees to 80 degrees over a span of 48 hours, it's hard on the system so we're, we're we got the air conditioner going and it's hot today but anyway I'm tired it's been a long day hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and we will talk to y'all later bye bye friends